What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the video, and I hope everyone's having an awesome, positive day. If you are new with my channel, I'm Jai, and we're back with On to High School. Uh, not well. It's called. That's the title. That's the what the video is called. We're back with One Piece Entertainment, and this is a Haunted High School in the Ozarks. If you have not yet, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my other channel, description below. Let's watch. Please be my favorite narrator. Oh. A co-worker told me this unforgettable story about his time in high school. I'm going to write this from his perspective. Central High School in oh, Springfield, Missouri I think. is haunted. I know what you're thinking. Every kid says their school he is haunted. But my story is different. He has I videos so he... Maybe Central was cartoon. the first high school in Springfield. His video. The original brick building with its tower still stands, yeah. but has now expanded with many new wings. We'd all heard the stories about the steam tunnels that connected the buildings and the supposed hangings. But far more compelling was the story of oh, the wow. deadly principal who would whip troublesome students to death. That would have happened long ago when Springfield was a small town and not the Queen City of the Ozarks. We had heard the rumors, the stories that were likely exaggerated, but being high schoolers, we knew we had to do one thing. We make a school late at night. Huh? I was the one who came up with the idea that we needed to join the drama class. They were preparing a performance of South Pacific, and as I explained to my group of friends, the way to get in would be to join the class as stagehands, stay to clean up after the performance, and then just stay. And that was what we did. Well, only a couple of us actually got onto the crew. But after everyone else had left, letting the others in was simple. We split up into three pairs. Myself and Sarah, Rich and Paul, and Michelle and Dan. Are we? we didn't have flashlights, Why was this was before we had cell phones. But the moonlight from the windows and the familiarity of the halls allowed us to get around the school very easily. I would never split up. After about an hour, we began to think perhaps the stories were just stories. We began to make our way to the gymnasium. We started to compare experiences, but everyone said the same thing. They hadn't seen anything, nor heard anything strange. And that's when a chair flew across the gym and slammed into the wall. Oh no. What the heck? Portuguese. Before I saw something else. Swarms of glittering little things crawling across the floor. They were cockroaches. We'd see cockroaches in the gym on occasion, but usually Ooh. one or two, not, not hundreds. Let's get out of here, yelled Michelle. And we hurried to the nearest exit, a stairway leading up to the second floor. It wasn't until we got upstairs that we realized that going upstairs probably wasn't the best course of action. But the cockroaches didn't seem to follow us there. As we stood next to a classroom, catching our breath, we heard loud footsteps down the hall. All of us backed up against the wall, trying to let whatever this was just pass by. As the loud, plodding footsteps came nearer, our tension grew higher. Um, oh, screw this, Rich said. And he ran into a classroom, they Sarah following you. quickly after him. Three, the door slammed four, shut behind them. So that, Guys, uh, I called them. Uh, I almost didn't notice that the footsteps had stopped. Suddenly, we heard them scream, and something slammed against the wall. And then something else hit it. They kept on screaming. Paul pulled at the door, but the handle was stuck. Finally, after a few minutes of them screaming and something hitting the wall, it opened. We entered the classroom. All the desks and chairs were knocked over, and some had clearly been hitting the walls. How they'd gone that far was a mystery, as they were pretty heavy. Mm. We found Sarah crouched in a corner, crying and babbling incoherently. A puddle of moisture underneath her. Moisture? Rich, on the other hand, was stumbling toward the window. Get him! I called, and Dan ran towards Rich, grabbing him. Let me go. 
Just let me jump. Let me die. Rich cried. Oh, Rich. Guys, this is this isn't enough. He said. We need to get out of here. He's the definitely shadow possessed. and Paul helped Sarah up. And helping Dan with Rich, we made our way back into the hall. As we stepped into the hallway, all at once, all the doors slammed shut. What's the guy? Get out of here. They all opened again and slammed again. Screw this. Michelle yelled. And she and Paul began hurrying down the stairs, supporting Sarah between them. Dan ran after them, and I pulled Rich after me. The cockroaches downstairs had seemingly dispersed as we made our way to the nearest exit. Good. Pushing at the door, nothing seemed to happen. Come on, push it! Michelle yelled, and Paul, Dan, and I struck the door together, forcing it open. We pulled Sarah and Rich outside, and as we made our way to the cars, we heard the door behind us slam shut. Mm -mm. Dan helped Rich to his car, while Michelle and Paul brought Sarah to the car. You're about to be a victim. As for me, I ran to my own car. As I was about to climb inside, I happened to look back at the school, looking at the tower. There, in the top room, was a window. And very clearly, I could see the outline of someone looking out the window directly at us as we made our escape. It was then I realized the most horrifying thing of all that we knew there was something in the high school. It knew we knew. And we had to go back to class on Monday. Ugh. Okay, okay, I don't know if this is real or not. I'm not saying it's real. I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's fake. But I'm thinking, my theory is, um, when you mentioned, oh, the principal used to whip the, um, the students who have been bad. But it was like before the school got um, constructed more. I'm thinking it was rumors around he was on um, hidden teacher, but I think word really got out and confirmed it. So I guess the um, principal just went ahead and killed himself, hanged himself, and all uh, hell started breaking loose. Yeah. So tell me guys what you think about this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have the most awesome part of the day. And until next time guys, share your life, do what you want, and do it positively. Peace.